and now you have wool. The reason I like this design is because it allows the sheep to roam freely, and it can be aesthetically pleasing in one of your builds. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sheep farm in Minecraft. This sheep farm is made to not only be aesthetically pleasing and fit into your base nicely, but also to let the sheep roam freely within the farm. We're in my test world, where for the past few days, I've been fiddling around with a few different designs for automatic sheep farms. Over here, this is my original design for a sheep farm. The reason I didn't want to do something like this is because it only confines the sheep to a one block space. I wanted to design something that not only fits well into a base, but also allows the sheep to roam freely as they please. After about three different designs, I finally came up with one that worked. And it looks a little something like this. Over here, we have a version that I decorated. This. I added leaves, tall glass, and two tall ferns to cover up the redstone. I as well added stone on the top of this to make it look like a medieval style farm. This animal pen automatically shears and collects the wool from the sheep. And it all ends up in this storage system. And of course, I'm going to show you how to build this in your own Minecraft world. First, what you're going to do is dig a 17 by 17 square, just like this. You're going to dig blocks in between it to fill the entire square in, just like I have here. Now you should have a cube that's 17 blocks by 17 blocks in either direction and is 2 blocks into the ground. Now we're going to start building the collection system. For this, on every corner we're going to go measure 3 blocks, just like this, and then place any block you like. For this I'm going to use smooth stone. We're going to do this in this corner, just like that. Now that we've measured out each block, we can fill in these gaps. Then, we're going to find the middle block, place a temporary block right here, add a double chest, and then eight hoppers going into that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you can fill in the smooth stone or whatever block you chose.
Now, if you have done this correctly, your square should be 11 blocks in either direction. We can start adding the minecart rails. For this next step, you should have any block of your choice, rails, powered rails, and levers. Then, by using the hoppers, you're going to be able to find the block here. Then you're going to remove this column and dig down two blocks here. We are then going to place the column back. Now we can go under this and under each block, place an activated lever. Now, to make sure that you did this correctly, place the power rails on top and each one should be powered. Now you can break these. Place one temporary block on one corner, then go on the other corner and do the same. It should look like this. Then go and make a line of powered rails. They're not going to be powered yet, but once they go over the block with the lever, they should all turn on. If this rail isn't powered, that's okay. You can go under the block and place another lever. Next, you're going to use these normal rails to make a bend and keep going straight with the powered rails. Then you're going to make another turn, keep going forward. Going to do that again. Keep going down. You're going to do this for every single column until you hit that block. Now if you've done this correctly, this is how your collection system should look. Now we're going to fill this with glass blocks. If you don't have glass, you can use dirt and then let glass spread to it. Although, since I'm in creative mode, I'm just going to use glass. Now that all of our glass blocks have been put in, we can start the redstone socket that will shear the sheep and collect the wool. However, before that, we're going to place glass blocks in all the corners, just like this. Then, go ahead like this and make a pattern. We're going to do that all around the entire area. Now this is how your glass platform should look. Now we can start placing temporary blocks. We can place one in front of each jut out. Now your platform should look like this. These temporary blocks should allow you to place a stair facing outward. Repeat this on each temporary. Repeat this on every temporary block. Now you can delete each temporary block, and it's okay if it turned the glass into dirt because that will spread back. The purpose of these is to let the glass spread back to the dot after the sheep eat it. The stairs will prevent these from turning back into dot blocks because they're not a full block. 
Now, in between each stair, we can place a dispenser. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill my inventory full of shears. Then we're going to place one shear into each dispenser. Make sure the dispensers are facing outward toward the sheep. You can also place as many shears as you'd like because these will break over time. Now that each dispenser has one shear in it, I'm going to take out smooth stone. However, for this step you can use any block you'd like. I'm going to place it on the back of each of these columns. This is how your build should look so far. Then take redstone dust and place one dust on each of these blocks. Now that we are done, we can start placing the observers. The trick to placing these is to go backward. Make sure the faces are inward. And after completing this, your farm should look just like so. Then you can put, take string and place one string in front of each observer. As you place them, the dispensers will fire, but it's okay and it won't ruin the durability because it's not shielding any sheep. Once you're done with this, what you're going to do is grab a torch and place one torch here, one torch there, one there, 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 right there, and there. Now, the zombies shouldn't be able to spawn inside your sheep pen. And we're almost done building this. Next, we're going to take one minecart with hopper and place it next to any of these blocks. It should go off on the rail and start being able to collect blocks. For this next step, I'm going to use sheep spawn eggs, but if you're in survival, you can use wheat to lure a sheep inside of you. To start your flock of sheep, you're only going to need two sheep. These sheep will be unable to escape, and you can bleed them so that they will have offspring and you can have more sheep. As you can see, as they're walking, they pathfind over to these dispensers, where they can be sheared and the wool weep will be picked up. Since I don't feel like breeding all of these sheep, I'm just going to spawn a few more to show you how this works. Now that we have some more sheep, you can see that they pathfind over to the string. And then they launch the dispensers which shear them. After that, the minecart picks them up, and now you have wool. The reason I like this design is because it allows the sheep to roam freely, and it can be aesthetically pleasing in one of your builds. For example, here I've decorated it to make it look like a medieval animal pen. That is how to build your very own free range wool farm in Minecraft. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.